Good evening, as girls, Rob here, and we're going to try a couple of holes tonight of um, Inside the Cup Golf, okay? Uh, I know some people have asked about wanting to know how to play the game, and I'm going to try my best to show you right now. So, uh, first thing I'll do, I will show you a card, okay? And a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of numbers there, okay? Uh, the driving is right here. The iron play is right through here. Sand and chipping and putting is right down there. Uh, it's not very difficult once you get everything going right there, but you'll see right here, Phil Mickelson, you'll see A, 17 to 20, B, 11 to 16, C, 5 to 10, D, is it yeah, 2 to 4, 2 to 4, and F is just 1. So that means on this 20-sided die, if he hits a 20, let's see if we can find a 20 around this damn thing. Let's say he hits a 19. He is 17 to 20. If he hits 17, obviously 17 to 20. There's a 20. All right, 20 is a, the, as good as you can do, but 17 to 20, it does not matter. It all it's all comes up equal. So the next number you got to look for is the white. Is the white D20. Um, I can show you on the course here now real quick what's happening here. Uh, just showed you Phil's card, and you'll be driving right here. Okay. All right. There we go. And you can see 20 or more. So on this white die, if you roll a 20, you're all the way over here. Now, it's supposed to, it said below zero, but it's actually a one right here. It's supposed to be a one. If you roll a one, you're on this side all the way, and you can't do anything about it. So what you're trying to do if you look at Mickelson's card real close, 17 to 20 is the premier thing. Then left, it says six, and and, and uh, middle, or it should say right, I guess, 15. So it goes from six to 15 with this white die. Anywhere from six to 15, he should be somewhere in this middle part of the fairway right there, okay? That's the main thing. Then after that, after we look at these two numbers, we look at the black number right here. And let's say, for instance, he misses a fairway, all right, and misses it to the right. Next thing we do, whatever area he's in, we're going to look for a six. If, if it roll a six, right, if it was an A, it's three to nine, he'd be in the trees. If it was a B drive, zero to six, he'd be in the sand. Uh, C, 0 to 6, he's in the sand. D, 0 to 6, he's in the rough. And F, 0 to 6, he's in the rough. And then it shows us what he has to do after that, being a par 4. Okay? So let's, let's roll a couple times here, and let's figure out where Mickelson is going to be playing from. The drive, you do not have to worry about the yellow dice. So the yellow die... We roll it, but it really does not come into play. Okay, so let's let's uh, put a little man up here for Phil Mickelson. He's going to be driving with his driver, and he's hoping to hit it in the middle of the fairway. Let's see what happens. All right, number first thing he did is hit he hit a four, and then black. I mean, then a white die of five. We're going to find out real quick he's going to be in the fairway, but let's see where. All right. So, the black die says four right there, okay? So, let's look over here for the four on his card. One is F, is F. Two to four is D. So, he is right D, 
So far in the middle of the fairway. Now let's look at the white die. White die says a five. Right here, D, it says five to 16. Five to 16, he'll be in the middle of the fairway. So he stays in the middle of the fairway, okay? Now, he's going to be shooting a long iron. L-I means long iron. Doesn't have a plus or a minus to it. So let's go up here to his long iron, and it shows that he's going to have to roll a black 11. And then whatever white number he gets depends. The higher the number it is, the closer he'll be to the flag. Okay? So he has to roll at least an 11 here. All right. So let's see if he rolls an 11 black. Let's see if he can do it. Perhaps. All right. Here we go. So Mickelson uh, needs, he needs at least an 11. Okay? Let's see what happens with the black number. And he didn't get it. So now let's see what happens. That's a six along with a 13. All right. All these numbers are going to come into play here. Okay. So we will look at all of them. All right. First off, the long iron. Well, I know what numbers they were. So I can put them back. And there we go. All right. There we go. All right. First off, we knew with the long iron right here from Mickelson, right? He's sitting in, a, in an area where he had to hit a long iron to get to the green right here. Well, he didn't do that. His long iron, he needed an 11 for the black number, and he only got a six. So that means he did not do that. So we don't worry about the white die so much now. So he is somewhere around the green here, okay? So the first die we look at is a black die, and we got a six. That is a six right there. So zero is long, one is left, two is right, and then three to nine is short. So this is a six. So six comes up three to six in the fairway, pitch and wedge plus one. So that's where Mickelson is in two shots. Pitching wedge plus one. Now let's let's show you what a pitching wedge plus one means. All right, uh, this is his fairway wood number. That's his long iron. That's his middle iron number. That's his short iron number. Now this is his pitching wedge number three. But it shows us right here that he's in pretty good possession. So we can add one number to this black die to help acquire his pitching wedge number. His pitching wedge number is a three. So all he's going to need is a two on a black die. So let's see what happens. Okay. Let's set you back up here again. All right. So if he wants to get on a green and have a putt, he's got to get at least a two on the D20, the black D20. Here we go. And he did it. Okay. He did it and actually, actually really chipped well here. Let's, let me show you what happens here. Okay. Let me show you what happens here. Well, first things first. Uh, he needed a three, but where he's at, pitching wedge plus one, it means he only needed a two. He got an 11. So he knows he's somewhere on the green now. He's somewhere in, the, in this area here, anywhere from 35 feet all the way to inside of five feet. So let's see what happens next. Next thing we do is we see there's a 20 right here. 20 right here means he's inside of five feet. Inside of five feet. Uh, the pitching wedge 20 inside of five feet. So we will put right there. We'll put we'll put uh, the mark right there inside of five feet, and that's the hole right there. All right. So Mickelson inside of five feet only needs a 17. So that means. The black die really would not have to be rolled next time. He has to roll a one on there. That doesn't matter. But on the white die, I mean, no, I'm sorry, on the uh, yellow die, he's got to get at least a seven on there. But this number right here, if it's over a one, it's in the cup, okay? So let's just roll it. So actually, I like to roll the white one. So the white die... If it's over, if it's two or more, he's made the putt. So it's a pretty easy putt. 
And that's a 14 right there. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, that's 14. Yeah. Yeah. So he makes that putt, and that's a par right there. Okay. And that's, you know, he made it pretty, made that hole look pretty simple after he chipped it close. So, uh, all right. So let's go to a different hole. Let's go to a different hole with Phil. Okay. Second hole here is a par five. Okay. A lot, lot tougher. A lot, lot tougher things can happen. He's going to drive it, and we'll see wh how he drives it right here. What's up, G Puck? What's going on? I'm showing you how to how to play inside the cup golf. So Phil Mickelson is going to drive and try to hit it as far down this par five as he can. So he need he would love anything with a 17 to a 20 on this black die, this black D20. Let's see what happens. And he didn't get it, though. Okay. All right. So it's a short drive. And I'll show you why it's a short drive. Um, first things first, he rolled a one. All right. So we know the one is an F. One is a in his F driving range. On vacation in Maine and took that game with me. All right. Have you ever played it? Do you play it much? If you have, it's awesome. Now, it's an F. So let's look at left and right right here for the white one. Four to 16. It's a 13. So he's in the middle of the fairway right there. Okay. Now, let's play this according to the rules. If you were going if if you're not going to caddy for for Phil, if you were going to if you were going to play him just in the middle of a tournament with everybody else, you've got a number right here that says 12. We got to roll at least a 12 or more. We got to roll at least a 12 more. We'll do it with the black die. 12 or higher and he'll go for the green and if not, we'll lay up. And that's an 18. That's an 18. So now we're going to go for the green. Okay. So let's see what's happening here. It says fairway wood, but minus one. So his fairway wood is already a 14. We're going to take one away from it. So it's uh, it's going to make, we're going to make it even harder for him. A 15. A 15. So it's going to be very, very difficult here for, uh, for him to make it onto the green. Um, he, he should make it somewhere around the green and he'll be dry, but let's see what happens. He would love a 15 on the black die and he didn't get it. He gets a six. Okay. He got a six on there. All right. So with that six, you do not have to worry about the white die. White die would have actually been a great one. That's a 19. So now we see where he's at around the green. First thing we do, we get a five. Or get to five. We know long is zero. Left is one. Right is two, and three to nine is short. This is a five, and it says fairway pitching wedge one plus one, right there. So he actually hit it really straight on, but he just missed it. Okay, so Phil is still. He's laying in two, so now he'd love to chip and be able to make a chance for a putt, for a birdie. So pitching wedge plus one. So let's go over to his pitching wedge number here. His pitching wedge number is a three. Once again, we're going to help him out so he can have one less. So all he needs is a two here. So let's get all four dice. He needs a black two, and he gets it. Okay, here we go with a black two. Six. So now we see that the white numbers here, Darren. And let's see how close he is to the pin. The higher the number, the closer he is to the pin. And it's not a high number. It's only a five. So we see a one. We see a two. We see a four right here. But then it jumps to seven. Well, five is lower than seven, so we can't go that far. But we can go to where the four is, and it says 21 to 25. So right now, 21 to 25 feet, um, and um, Phil Mickelson will make a birdie if he can make you know the 21 to 25 feet. So let's show you what's happening now. Let's go to this putting. 
21 to 25 feet, he needs a 186. How do you get a 186? This is how you do it. You he has to roll at least an 18 on the white die. Okay. Now a lot of people use the black die instead. I like a white die with a black die. And he has to roll at least a six. And you'll see that's one eight six. He has to roll at least that in order to make his putt. Okay. But if he doesn't, he's got to roll at least a 15 to two putt, which 15 shouldn't be a big problem. That's just a one on here, which that's the lowest he can roll. If he rolls two or more, he knows he uh, two putted. But 18 with a six, 19 with anything, and 20 with anything, and he'll make a 21 to 25 footer. So let's see what happens. Rolling the dice in my hand. He needs an 18, 19, or 20. And he got an 11. Okay? The 11 means he did not make his first putt. Okay? But he did make his second putt. So he didn't make his putt for birdie, but he did make it for par since it was one uh, one five is all he had to have was a 15. And that's a one one seven. Not a bad putt, but that's not good enough to make a 21 to 25 footer. That's a, that's a par. Okay. All right. Let's go to, let's try one more hole. Let's show you guys one more hole. Let's try par four. Let's try par three. Let's try par three. All right, let's go here. All right, this is a tough hole. 240 yards. A lot of us can't drive it that far. I can't drive, you know, one out of every 10 drives of mine will be more than 240, but the other nine will be shorter than 240. But this is a par three, so he's got to try to get it on the green here in one shot. So this is Phil. Fairway wood, we're saying on a T it says on a T box, it says T fairway wood plus one. So we know his fairway wood is a 14. So we're going to help him out and make it a 13. We need to roll all the dice because he's hoping to get close here. So that black D20 needs to be at least a 13. And it's not. It is only it is only an 11. Okay. So he's somewhere around the green. Let's get the black die. The black die is not a zero. It's not a one. It's not a two. It's actually a three. So three comes up short. And then what number goes with it? Another three. And that puts him in fairway pitching wedge. Okay. So now he's back to the pitching wedge again. He's laying in one. No, you know, very slight chance of making this chi uh, this chip in, but with a pitching wedge plus one, he goes from a three only to a two. So he only has to have a two for that black number there. So he'd love a good high white number though. Let's see what happens. All right. Oh, and he only gets a one right here. Wow. Wow. How about that? What happens when you don't reach that number? So what is going to happen now is this, okay? He didn't reach his pitching wedge number, okay? So um, it's going to roll off the green again. So it's a five, so it's short with another five. So this is one he tried to shoot it high up in the air. It landed on the green and rolled right back to him. So this will be his third shot coming up. And he, once again, he's got pitching wedge plus one. So he's got to get at least a two. So he can't get so fancy with this one. He needs to get this one closer. And he does. He does. That's a 14 there. That's a 14. So Phil learned from his mistake the first time. And now, though, that was a six. So he's going to be 21 to 25 feet. But this time it's going to be for a bogey. Okay. So be for his bogey. All right. And 21 to 25 feet, once again, is a 186. So he's got to roll a big number in the white dice here. And that's only a 109. So instead of making a bogey, he makes double bogey. So, I mean, that's what happens there. Um, needed a 186 and only got a 1.
zero nine. So that did not work out well for him. One final hole. Let's see if we can find. Let's see if we can find one of the easier holes on the course here. Let's see if we can. Um, maybe maybe he can make something at this par five eighth. Let's try. Let's give him a shot at it. So now we're gonna let him try to drive on a par five eight. Okay. See if maybe he can get a big number. Uh, 10, 10, only black, black die is 5 to 10. That's a C. So let's put him up here to C. And a 16, uh, 5 to 16, he's in a fairway, but we have to check the black die now. 1, 0 to 8, he's in a fairway. Number 9, even though he'd be in the sand, he's in a fairway. So. Let's have Phil go for it, okay? Let's have Phil go for it. Uh, we're not even going to let it. We're, we're going to be his caddy. So a number three right here, it says zero to eight, fairway number three. That's where he's at. So we go down to the bottom down here. There's a number one. There's a number two. Here's a number three, fairway minus two. So it's going to be very unlikely he sees a green here. He, it's a 14 right there. And we got to take, we got to make it even harder. So we got to make it up to a 16. Highly unlikely he sees a green. He's probably going to be somewhere around the edge, but he'll be chipping. So, but with a 16 or higher, he'll be on the green. So let's see what happens. And it's a four. So he will be chipping. Okay. He did not get 16 right here. He did not get a 16. He got only got a four. Okay. So let's see where he's at around the green. And it's a six. Zero is long. One is left. Two is right. And it says right here, three to nine is short. That's a six. And we got to look at exactly where he's at. He's in the rough. There's a two, one to two, rough pitching wedge. So he's going to be shooting his pitching wedge for his third shot. He can still set himself up for a good for uh, a good putt here, it's gonna, that white dice is going to help him here. The pitching wedge, we know it's a three. It's not a plus or a minus on there. It's not a plus or a minus on there like some of these others. It's just a straight-up pitching wedge. So he's got to roll a three on the black die. So he needs a three there, but a good high white number would help. What's up, Alex? So, okay, all right. He's got a chance here. He's got a four. So he passed the hitting of the pitching wedge. Now let's see one to 20, what he got on the white die. And it's not bad. It's an 18. It's an 18. 18 over here is six to 10 feet. It's an 18. So we'll put him right here, six to 10 feet. And that'll be for birdie for the hole. Okay. So let's see what happens here. Uh, six to 10 feet. Six to 10 feet, he has to roll a 98. So if this white dice right here is anywhere in double figures, 10, 11, 12, automatically he'll make his birdie, okay? he need, So with a 98, that means on this dice, he needs a nine. And on this dice, he needs an eight. And that would read off 98, okay? So if this one ends up being a double figure, 10, anywhere to 20, he will sink the uh he will sink your five to ten footer but if this number is eight or less he's gonna miss it and could uh could three putt let's see what happens 98 and the first two numbers is 17 so we don't even have to look at the other one that's a three so it's a one seven three he made a six to ten footer right there that would be a birdie then for Phil Mickelson that would be a birdie there for Phil and in the hole, okay? Here at the par five, eighth hole at, at Augusta. And you can actually see um, the layout of the hole. And then right here is the way it's, you know, this is playing the way this is right here. So you got some sand. There's some sand on the right, see? That plays on the drive right there. That's that sand. Then you can see it hooks right there. You got the rough right there. You got the rough right here. Okay? You got the rough right there. Fairway, all is fairway. 
and even fairway over here, which is over here's fairway. Okay, that's what happens. So, um, that's uh, that's pretty much the way you play that game. It's uh, it's if you read the instructions and read them a couple more times, it's it's a lot lot clearer. Okay, it's not a difficult game to play by any stretch. But after you play it two or three times, watch some of my videos along with Alan Shaw's videos, as well as some other guys. There's some other folks that have very good videos on Inside the Cup Golf. Definitely check them out. Peter Miller has one. Peter is really good. Uh, so the Bucks look like they're going to the finals. I missed that one. I said I thought Atlanta would go. Uh, Bucks, Bucks are going to run into a buzzsaw, though, called the, uh, uh, Bucks are going to run into a buzzsaw called, um, the, uh, Suns. Yeah, I've heard Swarbers out through the All-Star game. That's what I've heard. I've heard, I've heard three weeks minimum. So he's gonna miss all two to three weeks minimum, and he's gonna miss the All Star game. So uh, Otani, he uh, yeah, he he's been hitting them. He's hitting home runs big time. Uh, his coach wants him to be in the All Star game to pitch and to hit. I don't know why you would want that. Why? Well, I mean, yeah, you'd love to show him off, but come on. You're in, a, you're in the middle of a pennant race. So, um, Phillies, Phillies have won again. Uh, last I looked, the Red Sox were winning against the A's. I uh, don't know. Let's see if they've won or not. Let's let me double check. Um, Red Sox versus A's. Oh, and that's four four. Wow, A's scored two in the bottom of the eighth, and now they're in the bottom of the ninth. They're tied at four. Wow. And let's see play by play if they get anybody on base or anything. They could. Five best all-time professional sports rookies of all time. Um, well, the kid from the kid from the Mets had to be. What was his name? Um, first baseman. Um, they got. Oh, that's right. They got a man. Oh, Oakland's got a man at second as well with two outs. Ottavino pitching now. The X. X uh, Yankee. Um, would have loved to see a Kobe Bryant versus Michael Jordan NBA Finals. Yeah, it would have been fun. It would have been fun. I think. I think what's going to be a lot more fun is when we see uh, uh, somebody like a Devin Booker if he ends up going back to the, going to the East, taking on somebody like a Steph Curry. That's going to be good. Steph can shoot anywhere out there. I don't care who – you can give me any guard out there right now. Nobody can shoot like Steph. Nobody can shoot like Steph. And um, I recently put a Steph Curry jersey on my eBay. Uh, brand new one. Brand new Curry Golden State Warriors jersey. Uh, it's pretty cool. What was the age difference between Kobe and Michael Jordan? Uh, Michael Jordan – he turned 21 in 84. So 94, he was 30. I mean, he was 31. In 04, he was 44. 54. Uh, Mike, let's see. I can tell you about how old he is. He's close to, he's got to be 60 or damn close to it. Mike's got to be right at 60 right now. Damn close if he ain't. Might not be quite. He may not be quite 60. But he's got to be damn close. 
How old is Michael Jordan? 58. Okay, he's 58. All right, so he'll be 59 his next time around. Cam Reddish is heating up for the Hawks. Ain't going to help them, though. They're not coming back from 20 down with nine minutes left. They won't do that. They, they can't do that. Um, I wanted to show off a game tonight, and I showed off the uh, inside the cup golf game. Um, I've been asked again to show off a couple of other games, as well as um, down only 11 now. But how much? I bet it's less than five to go, though. Six minutes left. They got a chance in down 11. Um, History Maker Golf, somebody wanted to see that. I will show that off sometime this week. I will show that off. I'm, I ordered a new golf course for Inside the Cup, Beth Page Black. I have yet to see that get played on the channels anywhere on YouTube. Beth Page Black will be played on this channel within the month. After I get it, I'll be playing on here. Got to finish my Ryder Cup up with uh, with Allen first. Uh, the Americans up six and a half points to three and a half points. Uh, Saturday morning matches, so uh, definitely check it out if you haven't been checking it out. It's it's been a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, Cubs Cubs are going to start fire sale soon. Uh, did did the Brujahas win again? Did the Brewers win today? Milwaukee Brewers score. Yep, 11 to 2. Yep. They, they're playing their asses off. Uh, Escobar from Kansas City got traded today. Alcides, Alcides Escobar. Have you guys heard about that trade? Uh, he's heading to the Washington Nationals. I thought the Nats might be sellers at the deadline, but they they were fourth a week and a half ago. Ten games ago, they were fourth. Now they're setting second. They jumped the Phillies. They jumped the Braves, and they're they're second. They're wanting to make a jump at um, at the Mets, Alcides Escobar, from the Royals to uh, the Nationals. Um, actually, I think the Red Sox have their best record in baseball. I think the Red Sox have the best record. MLB standings. Well, percentage wise, 630, 627. It's right there together. Yeah. They've got the most wins. Yeah. Dodgers are going to catch them. Like I say, the Dodgers are going to catch them. Um, and then you got to wonder how long the, Bru the Astros are going to stay. I still say the A's are going to catch them. The Astros, um, they're playing well, though. My friend has the Red Sox versus Dodgers in the World Series. Red Sox are going to have to get something to help them. They, they, they've they played well for a half season, but if the Red Sox and the Giants neither one make trades, they're not going to win their divisions. They're not. Red Sox will get caught, too. They're going to have a cold streak somewhere in there with that pitching staff. They're not. They're not grade A number one pitchers. One of them goes out and gets Scherzer. One of them goes out and gets um, whoever. 
Uh, Zach Wheeler may be on it. He may be on the trade block if the Phillies keep blowing things, but they've won two in a row now. They're starting to line things back up, uh, starting to play better. Um, two under 500 is all they are. Were they four out of – yeah, they're only four out of the first place. So not, not a big deal, but uh, they've got to start winning more, no doubt about it. Um, they've got a g- great home record, a whole lot better than the Nats or the Braves, but their road record sucks. Their road record stinks. Yeah. Um, I like his sons. I don't care who they play, Booker and Paul. And then will that be an easy destination for somebody to – to want to go to Phoenix. Why not? The weather's, you know, what the weather there is awesome. Phoenix is hot, but it's golfing weather 350 days out of the year. So um, I, I wouldn't understand, I, you know, I couldn't understand it at all if somebody wouldn't want to play for the Suns if they were willing to pay you the amount you wanted. Why not play there? Um, Charles Barkley said it. He loved it there. Week long suspension, and that's some fishy stuff there. Yeah, they are looking into it. That's exactly what the league's doing. The league is trying to find out if there's smoke where there's fire. And they'll lengthen it, they'll put it out to 30 days or 60 days. If they find out this woman is telling the truth and Bauer is full of shit. Uh, they don't lost two minutes in the draw though. And only made up one point. That's not, that's not doing real well, but that's what's happened. The league is scared that it's the truth. So they knew they had to go out and do something. They had to do something. The one person in the NFL we ain't heard nothing about in six weeks. It's got a big cloud right over his head. But have we heard one word from a league or anybody in the last six weeks about Deshaun Watson? Think about it. Has there been an article written? Has there been anything, the league, newspapers, anything, has there been anything written about Deshaun Watson in the last almost two months? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Money is a bitch. And when the NFL has as much as they've got, they can calm people down. Have you heard anything? Have you heard anything about Deshaun Watson? Though? I haven't. What do I think has happened? This is I'll tell you exactly what I think's happened. I think the NFL's went down to Houston and been like this. Houston Chronicle, the newspapers, y'all, you guys chill it out. You guys chill out. When there is an article to be written, we'll see to it that you get it. For right now, chill the hell out. And if we have to, we'll send some of your sports writers on vacation for about two weeks. Float their pockets with money. Just throwing money at them. That's what's happening. I speak without a mouth. I hear without ears. Have nobody become alive with wind. What am I? Kite. Weather vane. Uh, an echo. Never heard that one before. Well, 
I hope you guys learned something from the, the little short uh, how to play Inside the Cup Golf. www.insidesportsgames.com And you can get in touch with Chris directly from Idaho. He's emailed me a couple of times. Um, I've been showing I've been showing this game off because I enjoy playing. It's a lot of fun, and I think you'll enjoy it too. I have cities, no houses. I have mountains, but no trees. I have water, but no fish. What am I? I don't know, land. I don't know. I don't know. Mother Nature. Map. I never heard of these. <laughs> so, tomorrow, trash dump of the week. It's clear and getting a lot clearer as to who may be our trash dump of the week. And don't forget, we're going to try to have point number 11 coming up. I hope you enjoy it. Um, if you do, hit that thumbs up button. We appreciate it a whole lot, and I know YouTube enjoys it as well. If they, if they, um, the people watching our videos enjoy our videos. So I'll see you again. My name's Rob. Thanks so much for checking out the channel. How to play Inside the Cup Golf. Uh, it's not difficult. Read the instructions given to you multiple times. And then when you reach a place where you can't, you don't know exactly where to go with it, read it again. And it clears it up a lot, a lot, a lot. Trevor Bauer is definitely looking like maybe the front runner for trash dump of the week, but we don't know what's going to happen Saturday night. Saturday night is 12 hours of darkness, along with partying, drinking, and the 4th of July coming up. Some people can be idiots. Some people can be fools. Let's hope none of that happens. But if it does, we'll be ready to call them out on Trash Dump of the Week. I hope you enjoy it, everything tonight, and I hope to see you again tomorrow. My name's Rob. See you later.